Now we can read another part here, which of the following interpretations can be made correctly from the graph on progressive renal disease. So here he's going to ask you about another part of the drug ad, which is usually the second page. Here he's asking us about the graph, right? Uh, so before we look, I actually get confused with all those answer choices. I want to read the graph by myself so what we're gonna do is interpret what the x-axis says and what the y-axis says it saves a lot of effort so first off here he's saying time in days since randomization so all these are days so this um this study was done over 1000 days okay which is more than three years that's one Number two, the y-axis mentions the incidence of progressive renal disease. And the ad here claims that Melafly lowers the risk of progressive renal disease by 28% compared to placebo. Compared to equals relative risk. So the relative risk in this case, guys, the relative risk reduction is 28%. So this is not an absolute number, right? This is as compared to placebo. Now, what's on the graph here, which is incidence versus time, incidence over time of melifly, which is in blue, compared to placebo, which is in black, this is actually the true absolute value of the incidence that we got to read so with placebo which is this um blue which is this black curve black line it showed us that overall over 1000 days with both drugs regardless there is an increase in the cumulative incidence of progressive renal disease so patients were already gonna get progressive renal disease. The difference is in rates that with Melifly, we have less patients reporting progressive renal disease versus placebo. But in both cases, over time, we saw increased progressive renal disease. This is one. And so it's all about a relative comparison, right? So let's see, by the end of the study, which is at 1000 days here in uh, placebo, as you can see here, we're almost 60%. It's the cumulative incidence 0 0.06, which is around um, 6%. So yeah, it's actually less than that. Let's say 58%, 5.8, 5 okay, or 58 per 100 and with Melifly, on the other hand, by 1,000 days, it was 0.04, which is 4 of 100. So, uh, 40 of 100, I mean. So, obviously, there was around 18 people different per 1,000. And 18 per 1,000 is around 1.8 per 100, 1.8% absolute risk reduction, right? And that's the relative risk. So what is going on here in the answer choices? A says the incidence rate of progressive renal disease for both groups increased over the time of the study period. Is that correct? Okay, it, it, it's right, but we have to highlight the difference, guys, between melifly and placebo. The incidence rate was actually less with melifly, okay? B says, at the end of the study period, more than 50% of patients in the placebo had developed progressive renal disease compared to less than 50% in the treatment group. In fact, this is incorrect because... This study shows us 58 out of 1,000, which is 5.8%, not 50% at all. So it's completely wrong. 
The graph should not be used for treatment decisions because cumulative incidence is not sufficient to allow inferences to be made about the risk of an individual patient. Of course not. We have a study with enough patients representative of the population. And when I use a lot of patients, it's more likely to resemble the risk for an individual. So this is incorrect. At the end of the study period, the risk of having developed progressive renal disease in the treatment group was approximately 1.5% lower than the risk of progressive renal disease in the placebo group, and that's correct. We got it here at 1.8% less in the treatment group versus placebo, so this is the correct answer. Uh, finally, answer choice E says treatment with melafly reduced cumulative incidence of progressive renal disease by 28% over the time of the study period. Did it actually reduce the absolute incidence alone? No, this is not the case. It's written here that it lowered the risk by 28% compared to placebo. This is the relative risk, but it actually only reduced it by 1.8% as an absolute value okay guys now why is a incorrect because um, the incidence rate is not the same as cumulative incidence the incidence rate here he mentions that it's measured in person years whereas cumulative incidence is a proportion okay so yeah it's not the incidence rate so that's what's wrong about answer choice A, okay?